Hello everyone, Mauro here. In this lesson, we're going to look at steps to install Windows 11 version 24H2 without waiting for the feature update to be offered through the Windows update settings. Although you can use other methods such as the installation assistant or even mounting the ISO file to File Explorer to start the setup, you can also configure a specific feature on Windows 11 to set the target feature up to you want using the group policy editor and the registry. It's important to create a backup before proceeding in case you need to roll back if something happens. Also, these instructions are only meant for devices that are compatible and known to have a good upgrade experience. If the feature update is not being offered on your computer, it could mean that the new version is still not fully compatible. Use this instruction understanding the risks. Okay, let's go into the steps to skip the line and force install the Windows 11 version 24H2 on your computer. But before, please subscribe to the channel and click the like button to help YouTube show this video to more people. It doesn't cost anything and you will be helping the channel and supporting my work. First, let's look at the current setup. As you can see, I'm running version 23H2 with the latest update. And then if we go to the settings app, more specifically to Windows update, we're going to see that the feature update version 23H2 is not being offered. Now, first, I'm going to show you the steps to do this through the group policy editor. And that application is only available on Windows 11 Pro higher releases. For Windows 11 Home, I'm going to show you how to do this through the registry. So for the first method, open start and look for the group policy editor and open the app. Now, let's go to Computer Configuration, Administrative Templates, Windows Components, and then we're gonna go to Windows Update. And in here, we're gonna go to Manage Updates, Offer from Windows Update. And in here, we're going to right-click the Select the Target Feature Update version, and we're going to choose the Edit option. Now, we need to enable the policy, and then we need to set the version that we want to target, which is Windows 11 and then the version that we want which is 24 h2 and then click apply and then click ok now you can restart the computer to apply the changes now before restarting i'm going to show you the steps to do the same thing but on windows 11 home through the registry and this is because i only have one chance with this installation to start open the start menu and look for the registry And now we're going to go to this path, H key, local machine, software policies, Microsoft, Windows, Windows update. And in here, we are going to find the entries to skip the line to force upgrade Windows 11 version 24H2. But in your computer, these entries might not even be available. So let me delete them and I'm going to recreate them to show you how this works. So in here, we're going to right click the Windows update key and then we're going to select new and then we're going to choose the stream value option. And then we're going to name this product version as you see it on the screen and then press enter. Now right click the key and select the modify option. For the product name, we're going to use Windows 11 and click the OK button. Now we're going to right click Windows update one more time and then we're going to select new and then we're going to choose the d word 32 bit value option and then we're going to name it target release version as you see on the screen no space and press enter we're going to right click on it and select the modify option and we're going to set this to one and finally we're going to create third key in this case it's going to be another stream value we're going to name it target release version info no spaces and then we're going to modify it and we're going to specify the 24H2 version and then click the OK button. Once we have this configuration set, we can close the registry and now we need to restart the computer. After the computer restarts, we need to open Start and look for the settings app. Now let's go to Windows Update. And now this option is going to be grayed out because we made changes to Windows Update. And now we're going to click the Check for Updates button to see if we get the version 24H2 download option. Now 
And as you can see, now we're downloading the latest version of Windows 11 on a compatible computer that wasn't getting the update offer before. Once the system is ready to apply version 24H2, you're going to have to click the Restart Now button. And you won't have to go through the out of box experience because this is an in place upgrade. So after the installation, the computer will boot right into the lock screen. So you can sign in in the computer. Now, after you upgraded your computer to the latest version of Windows, and if this option is still grayed out, it is a good idea to undo the configuration. And to do that, you just need to go to the group policy editor if you edit it that way. And then we're going to open the same Windows update settings. Then we're going to go to the manage updates offer from Windows update. Then we're going to open this policy. And from here, we're going to choose the not configure option and then click apply and then click OK. Now, if you configure this through the registry, just open start and go to the registry. And then on the same path, if you previously had some of these entries, you can set them back to the original values. But if you create them manually, you can simply select them and then click the delete option and then click the yes button to confirm. Remember that these instructions are meant for devices that are compatible with version 24H2. If you have a computer with unsupported hardware, you won't be able to go through this process. And in that case, check the video description that I have a link to a tutorial to perform an in-place upgrade or clean install version 24H2 on an unsupported PC. Now, as you can see on this test, I use a compatible computer with version 23H2, but this should also work if you have an older version of Windows 11. And lastly, one thing I want to make clear is that this may or may not work for everyone. And let me know in the comments, if this works for you. Now, remember to like the video, share it, and I just hope this video was informative for you, and I would like to thank you for viewing.